Welcome back to my channel and this is Lady V. How are you? Hoping everyone is doing well. Want to wish everyone a productive Monday and a blessed new week. Want to thank each and every one for the support of my channel. I sincerely appreciate your support. Please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. Now guys, let's talk about newborn baby boy's body found downtown Kingston wrapped in newspaper in a bag. My God, my God, what is going on? What type of woman, what kind of human being, what kind of mother could have done that? Jesus of his mercy. Some of we are going to say a wicked woman, a evil, a see. We are going to say all the things. And I know because the same kind of thoughts and feelings are crossing my mind right now what I want to know what is that person mental state right now because for someone to be capable of doing that it speaks to a depraved art it speaks to psychological incapacity it speaks to emotional inavailability it speaks to someone who is not capable of loving and caring. It speaks to someone who no give a damn about nobody. That's how it's come across. It seems like somebody were wicked and heartless. So let me break down the words. That's how it seems. What woman could have done that? On Mother's Day, you say? The police report say they suspect the the, the, the body of the baby or the, the baby whatever condition it was in when it was left there was left on Mother's Day to think a woman could carry a baby in her stomach to term to give birth on Mother's Day stillborn or otherwise how could you just do that what's wrong with you what is wrong with you mentally and psychologically emotionally how could you maternally how could you do that you felt nothing no connection no attachment nothing even if you try to do this delivery on your own and god forbid the baby was born stillborn there was a better way to dispose of the remain there was a better way so how could you do this? Now hearing and reading the news that persons saw dogs biting the bag knowing what is inside the bag came from your very bowels. Don't it make your bowels of compassion move? Don't a place inside that you feel numb beyond numb? Knowing dogs with sharp teeth Oh my God. Dogs. Wild crazy pack a dog with sharp teeth. Is biting. Your baby. In a bag. I don't think anyone with a sound mind. Is capable of that. I don't think anyone with a heart in them. Is capable of that. I don't think any good decent human being. Could do that so I'm taking it it has to be a child or a adult that is incapable on many levels maybe mentally psychologically emotionally maternally educationally physically I, I, I just don't think this person is is a regular person with a regular function in mind there must be some abnormality in that person. For that person to be capable on Mother's Day, you would have done that to a child that you brought into this world. You had the option of giving the baby up for adoption. You could have had an abortion. You could have left it at the hospital. You could have put it in a box and cover it properly and take it to somebody's doorstep and knock her on, leave it, let them take up the baby and get the baby to care. So, I honestly don't know what is the mental state of this person but 
God, it makes, this is so sad. So many women in this world can't have children. They would have done anything to have that baby boy that you left there. Some women are praying to God for weeks, months, and years just to give them one chance to conceive. One child will be enough for them. And they haven't gotten that blessing yet, but you did. What have you done? What have you done? How cruel, how wicked, how selfish, insensitive can you be? Mother's Day, you come from a woman. Your mother didn't do this to you, but you do this to your child. How will you live with yourself? How would you live with your conscience going forward? Hearing dogs down there biting up your baby, doesn't it do anything to you? No? But you see, whilst we say that, we have to also say too, a person like that would not be mentally capable, to be honest with you. Mm -mm. That person would have a lot of mental lack and deficit and traumas dealing with. Maybe throughout the entire pregnancy. It could be a child who has tried to conceal the pregnancy from parents and maybe have tried to deliver by themselves and get rid of so the parents will not know. Who knows? It could be a adult who nobody knew about it and they tried to do what they had to do. It could just be a person who tried to do their own stuff and then, you know, stillborn or otherwise any danger zone come and the person get afraid and did this. We don't know. Or it could be a very downright evil person who just decide to do this out of selfishness, lack of compassion, evil, artless, cold, crude, cruel, we don't know. It could be any of the above. But what I know, a person like this is going to suffer PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. And that person will also have postpartum depression. And who knows if that is what happened when the child was born. If the person started experiencing that from jump. And did something crazy. If you will, if you read, you'll know. Persons who have babies, um, I think, all the way up to six weeks or six months after having the baby, they suffer a thing called post, not everybody, postpartum depression, where they get some sense of feelings to harm baby, or they go into depression and different things. So a lot of things is there that we may not know. And there are so many whys, so many whys, why would she, why didn't, why, why? We don't know which of the why is the why. We don't know which of these whys is the why. We don't know if it is because, you know, we don't know if it was a case of rape. We don't know if it was a case of incest. We don't know if it was a case of, um, this is going to mash up my life. We don't know if it's a case of a child can't let the parents know. We don't know if it's just a evil woman who wants to continue to be on the street and don't want a responsibility. But whatever, whichever of the wise, this is a sad day. Sad day. Mother's Day, sad day. A beautiful baby boy, life is gone. And we, are, we, we, we don't have a clue as to what happened. This is so sad on all levels. We need more awareness. We need more awareness to teach us how to handle difficult situations such as these. Mother, if you see this, if you see this video and the many other videos that are gonna be made, some of it is gonna hurt your feeling. If you read a newspaper and hear what persons are saying, some of it is gonna hurt your feelings. However, I implore you and I'm asking you, seek help. Find someone to speak to. Find someone to speak to. Seek help. Seek help. You need help. You need psychological help, emotional help, help, and mental help. You need help. You need help. Seek it and seek it early. May the Lord God forgive you. May the Lord have mercy upon your soul. 
May the Lord forgive you and may the Lord welcome his little angel home. God bless you. Stay safe, everyone. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Say a prayer for the mother, even if you're angry. We don't know what fight a person is fighting. Let's not condemn everything until we know the correct why. For now, let's send a prayer up for her. She's still someone's daughter. She has messed up, but we all have messed up and sinned and come short of the glory of God. Let's say a prayer for her. God bless.